Hello, everybody. Good to see you again. We're back for another edition of here's something that fifth and six is doing, and we found it to be useful. So Mr. Hubner thought, hey, let's uh, spread the love, share the wealth, share the joy to everyone else. So if you're like us, you use Google Sheets for just about everything. As a grade level, we each have our homerooms, but then we share students uh, across the different subjects. So when it comes time for Fridays of knowing who owes what amount of work, who owes what, one of the things we start doing is we create spreadsheets with, all right, these are the kids in my homeroom, or these are the kids in my rooms, and these are assignments they've done, these are the assignments that are missing, and these are the ones they need to redo. So we set up a spreadsheet similar to this. And as you can see, I've got student one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to student 13. And then for each column, I named it after one of the either homework assignments, in-class assignments, whatever it is that they need to do. And as you can see, I've got some X's, I've got a couple of redos, but then there's a lot of blanks. If you're like me, you need to see some things in color. You need something that will help it to pop so that you can figure out, okay, what do I need to focus on? Where does my attention need to be drawn? We're visual learners, many of us. So here's a quick trick on how to create uh, conditional formatting for your cells so that a color will immediately pop up. You don't have to use the same exact steps, but this is something that I have done. So here's my, here's my spreadsheet. Here's all the cells that should have something in them, either an X, meaning that the assignment is complete, a blank, meaning that it is incomplete, or something that I want them to, I want the students to redo. So what I did was I selected all of the cells that should have something in them. I go up into my bar, I click format, conditional formatting. <clears throat> and as you can see, it pops up now, every cell that has something in it pops up green. But for me, I don't want to see what they've done. I want to see what they need to do. So it has applied a range. It has the range of all the cells, BG all the way down here to G14. And then my format rules. So I'm going to change that, the format rules. So I'm changing it to is empty. So now if the slide or if the cell is empty, a different a color is going to pop up. It defaults to like this beautiful like light green. I'm going to change it to this like kind of reddish rose color because I can. So now every cell, if there's nothing in it, the entire cell will pop up as red. I'm going to make, I can either click done and be done with it, but I'm going to add one more rule just because this is something we do in fifth or sixth and um, I think is helpful as well. So I'm going to click add another rule. I still have that entire range selected, so it doesn't change anything. I'm go now going to change it to where if the text contains redo, like, because I know that the students have already done that, but I want to alert the other teacher that, yes, they completed this homework assignment, but they didn't show mastery on it, or it was blank, or it was something that they're like, oh, yeah, mom, I totally did that, when they just looked in, click submit so that they could go back to playing Fortnite. So I changed it to where if something that they redo, I actually write into the tech, into the cell, the word redo, and then I'm gonna change that to yellow just because I can. So now all of my cells only in this range. So you can see, I still have blank cells over here. Eventually I'll fill that in as the weeks go on with the different assignments and whether or not they've done that. But now say that student three, like really gets on the ball, goes in and completes conjunction homework for, for the second, the main idea homework for the third and the main idea homework that they had on the seventh. As you can see, since I put X's or since I put something of value in that cell, the color disappeared. It went back to the default of white. But if I looked at it and said, Ooh, main idea homework, they just hit submit. So I want the student to redo that. Since the text contains that word redo, it pops up as yellow. So flat out, I'm not an expert when it comes to Google Sheets, but I've picked up a couple of tricks here and there, some things that might be helpful. So 
this is something that we found helpful in fifth and sixth grade. And like basically everything else in my class, treat this like the cafeteria, take what you want, leave what you don't. If this is helpful, awesome. If you already knew how to do this, shame on you for not sharing it with somebody else.